Hey, welcome to the monthly news. This month is kind of a shitty month because we have to leave our entire workspace and everything needs to be out. So we're selling a lot and doing a big workspace sale. So we're selling a pink bench, ivory machines, prototypes, one exclusive cap, the only one in the world. So I would say have a look at this video at 4 minute 45 to see how we're selling all of this and where to find it because there's a lot of good stuff in here which you could buy. Welcome to monthly news number 39, back in the Netherlands from our workspace. Um, because last month I was in Bangladesh, you might have seen it in the video, and I found a very complex way to get home. It took me four days in airports and a Photoshop ticket, but I'm back. That video that I actually made, the monthly news, got the most views of any monthly news video ever. Woohoo! No, no, this is actually a problem. See, that one stupid video got more views than any of our videos we made for Precious Plastic version 4. It basically means the YouTube algorithm is in control. They decide what to spread and promote on their platform. And it's now mainstream media that talks about Corona and not videos about tutorials on how to recycle plastic. It almost forces me to talk about Corona as well, but I don't want to do that. But most of our audience are quite clever, bright people like yourself, and they don't want to spend all their time on the internet commenting, liking every fart that is out there. However, we are up against this algorithm that sort of base their decisions on the interaction you have. So we kind of need to work with it a bit as well. But we do want to stay pure to the message we want to share. So I just wanted to let you guys know how important it is to subscribe, like or comment to these videos because they really help to spread this information into the world. And I would say don't do it for these rough, quick monthly news videos. They are, don't really deserve that. But do it for the fresh plastic videos, the useful tutorials, the free information, the story hopper videos that have a lot of knowledge in them. Engage there because that really helps to spread the information into the world. Anyway, I just wanted to give some updates on uh, the algorithm situation. Next topic. All right, so now to the news part. And this is not gonna be very positive, so let me share you our misery. So first off, this month we got a fine. They actually sent it out on paper, and it's a fine because we used an image on the internet which was apparently not copyright free. We used it three years ago on our website uh, to show an image of people recycling plastic. So it's that image. I mean, I kind of get it, but also boring. And we were working on some super cool projects like making a massive brick wall in Milan. Uh, and we actually do these projects to sustain financially fresh plastic. But yeah, that's now all canceled due to coronavirus. FAME, the organization that gave us an award last year so we could make version four, still had to pay 30,000 euros. So they were about to transfer that last bit, which we had reserved to pay our bills. However, they also have some problems with money shifting around due to coronavirus. So that has been delayed, so we need to bridge that 30,000 euro gap of bills. <sighs> yeah, I mean, challenging time during Corona period, but actually this wasn't even the worst. The worst thing is that the municipality, they found Chromium 6 in the building of our workspace. And it is on the paint that is applied 40 years ago. It's always been there. Um, it's on the metal structures and they found it and it's not harmful, but we do need to leave the building within one month. So we need to move our workspace in one month in Corona time, which is quite challenging, when most of the people in our team are actually back home with their family to stay safe. And we don't really have a plan B. I mean, we don't really know where to go. We haven't really had an alternative uh, prepared. So yeah, that is gonna be quite a challenge to move uh, because we have a lot of stuff. Like our workspace is big. Office, kitchen. Tools, machines, metal, old prototypes, products we made, precious plastic machines, and our storage area with prototypes, materials, old motors and supplies, a lot of stuff. Welcome to our first ever and hopefully the last one ever uh, workspace sale where everything is for sale, most of it, because some stuff is also free. Um, so basically we have a lot of things. So here is more 
furniture, so 40 people, a lot of chairs, uh, tables, couches. It's a bit more household stuff as well. Also smaller things like plates, cutlery, stuff like that. We also have some uh, pieces of furniture I made years ago. This retro design furniture for your computer. You could have your display here. You can work. Big computer here on the side, but no one has a computer anymore. So that doesn't make sense, but you can still buy it. It's, it's cool. Uh, we also have more of our old technology here, like lights, tripods, screens, tattoo gun, um, some old machine components. Uh, so heating elements, motors, but also bigger machines like a table saw, compressors, a robot arm. Um, this is actually a lot of useful things. And also our own precious plastic corner, uh, prototypes you make, test, try out, beautiful things like our big diamond. You can find those all on the bazaar, but this one is going to be very expensive. Then here is more the workspace inventory, so some basic shelves, but also old prototypes. So for instance, uh, shredder machines, extruder, this big ass extruder screw, it's an industrial one. I always wanted to make a big extruder, but I never managed to do it, or at least not in that size. So maybe you want to do that. We have some old sheet presses, um, yeah, a lot of prototypes. They look very rough, but they do still, uh, most of them still function, but they could use some love and care. You could be the proud owner of this monthly news sign, um, version one. It's a classic one, you could put it in your toilet. It's a lot of demand for that. Uh, and here we have more shredded plastic, uh, sorted out on different types, but also uh, often sorted on different colors. So if you're a fresh plastic workspace, this might be very useful for you. We also have some wood and beams, just stuff, useful materials we found in our workspace. And here, for some reason, we had a lot of these white plinths, pedestal, exhibition things. I never know the English name for this, um, but it's to showcase your products on. They just take a lot of space, um, but yeah, they also need to go. So overall, there's a lot of diverse things in here, and all, most of our listings are online, so you can find either the fresh plastic stuff on the bazaar, or uh, more the machine components and the materials on marktplaats.nl. It's a Dutch website. Um, but yeah, I put uh, two accounts of those uh, websites in the description below, so you can see all our listings. Or you can also make an appointment and drop by, because uh, all of this really needs to go uh, within three weeks, and it's gonna be put online tomorrow. So it's really gonna be a rush to get everything out, but we really do want everything out. We also have a wall climbing grip. So I would say uh, drop by. I just wanted to use the drum cut for something. But I don't have a joke. So uh, yeah, now we go to the community news from Kat. All right, so I would say let's end these monthly news uh, with a little bit more positive news, thanks to the community. And uh, first of all, there's a very nice new how-to from James Goreng, who shows his mobile recycling setup on a bicycle. So he can actually, while he cycles, collect and shred plastic. And then he has a very low-tech process to melt this plastic into small sheets. Um, yeah, and it's just a pretty cool setup to, to demonstrate uh, the whole process in a mobile and simple way. So head to the community platform and check out how it's done. Then another very useful how-to is the rapid fire technique from Keytech, who show how to speed up the whole injection molding process so you can actually um, produce more, inject more items in a shorter amount of time, which allowed them to produce a quite high amount of uh, protective masks recently. Which brings me to our community highlight this month, the precious plastic COVID-19 response. Um, yeah, as many of you might know, many countries are in shortage of personal protective equipment for the corona situation. So they are asking Maker Labs to produce the, that required equipment for them. And having the ability and the equipment to produce plastic items, many precious plastic workspaces worldwide saw their potential to really help and work day and night to come up with um, solutions to produce these, um, needed, this needed equipment for local hospitals and health workers. So we help them collecting all these solutions and bring them all into one place 
online so that all the different precious plastic workspaces worldwide could find them and um, help locally more easily. So now we have uh, a number of different techniques and molds for making face shields, respirator masks and um, hands-free door openers so you don't have to touch the door. All open source online so that anyone from you guys who have a precious plastic injection machine can take those files and techniques and start producing and helping locally. So huge thanks for all those heroes who put effort and, and, and energy into making that happen. And what I find so powerful about this case is that it shows how relevant it is to have local manufacturers, even if they are small, who can quickly and independently react to local needs. Um, and in that case, precious plastic solutions have even more strength because the injection molding process is up to 75 times faster than 3D printing solutions. So really a big potential. And um, yeah, I think that's really to keep in mind. And um, I'm sure that there are many more um, examples where we can really use, fully use this potential of being a precious plastic workspace. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Take care of yourselves and of others if you can. And see you next month. Ah, and buy stuff from the bazaar. And if you're in the Netherlands, drop by and get some stuff here. There's a lot of cool stuff. I'm off. Bye. Bye.